Hey guys, I'm Carrie from CarrieDahlgren.net and today I'm talking about how to stop yourself in the middle of a binge. Um, I used to be a binge eater for a very long time before I discovered the psychology of weight loss. And the concept that is going to help you the most to break your binge eating pattern is the concept of feeling your feelings. Because the reason why we want to overeat in the first place is because there is a feeling somewhere inside of you that you don't want to feel. And most of the time you have no idea it's there. So the tool that I use to get myself to stop in the middle of a binge is what I call the stop, drop, and feel. If you catch yourself binge eating, you need to stop, drop into your body, and feel your feelings. This can be really hard to do if you are in the middle of a really intense binge. It's often really hard to break the momentum. So the trick I use is I tell myself that I can get back to the binge once I'm done. So when you're in the middle of a binge, make yourself a deal that you're going to try the stop, drop, and feel thing. And if it doesn't work, you can get back to your binge. But I guarantee you it will work. So what I like to do is I will stop and I will lay down on the couch or on my bed and then I will ask myself, what am I feeling? And every single time I ask myself that question when I'm in the middle of a binge, crazy feelings come up. Feelings, intense feelings that I had no idea were even there start to bubble up. For example, um, I haven't been, I haven't binge eat haven't been binge eating for a very long time. Ever since I gave up dieting, um, my binge eating episodes went way, way, way down. Um, but last week, I was dealing with some really intense, almost like a personal crisis, and I found myself binge eating almost every day for like five days in a row. And I was chalking it up to stress and um, unhealthy cravings, but deep down I knew that that's not the real cause of a binge. I knew that there's a feeling in there that I wasn't feeling. So on the fifth day, I finally stopped myself, laid down on the couch and asked myself, what am I feeling? And I began to sob. I sobbed so hard and I started crying and I had no idea I had no idea that I was sad and that I was feeling grief until I sat down to feel those feelings. And that's why this work is so important because when you haven't developed that emotional awareness, like that's why we gravitate towards food. We have no idea that the emotional pain is even there to begin with, that we don't know to drop into our body and give those feelings the attention they need to pass. But instead of doing that, we gravitate towards food to numb the pain subconsciously. So this is really difficult work. Um, the thing that I'm asking you to do is really difficult um, and that's why diets are so seductive because they give you this external thing to fixate on right like if you eat the right foods at the right time in the right proportion like you'll never have cravings and you'll never binge and it doesn't work because it never addresses the feelings that are going on inside of you that you need to pay attention to so the next time you're in the middle of a binge try the stop drop and feel promise yourself that you can get back to the binge if it doesn't work, but I guarantee you it will work. Because when you give your feelings the attention they need and you allow yourself to fully feel those feelings, they'll go away. And when the feelings that are driving you to overeat go away, the desire to overeat goes away as well. It always surprises me. Every single time I do this, I sit down, I feel my feelings, something crazy bubbles up, and I just let myself ride the wave and feel the feeling, and every single time, the desire to overeat goes away. This is a skill that you can develop through practice. This is very difficult. Give yourself a lot of credit because this is the most difficult work that I have ever done and gets easier through practice. Um, just like any other skill, repetition builds skill. So give it a whirl, um, start practicing it every single time you want to binge eat and let me know in the comments below how it works for you because I really want to know. Um, signing off, my name is Carrie from CarrieDahlgren.net. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post new content every Sunday. I will see you guys next week. Bye.